morning grade tens. Let's have a look at exam questions on the hyperbola. This is November 2017. The sketch below shows then the f of x graph and that's my g graph. So that you can identify as the hyperbola because the k it stands on top of the x plus the w that's instead of the q. g of x it's minus x minus 1. That means it's a straight line. So now you can look at your given diagram. So this is hyperbola and that's your straight line because that's g and that's f. Then they say the graph of G the line, uh, is an axis of symmetry of F. The graph F and G meets at the point P and Q. So that's a point P and that's a point Q. So this is then the line of axis of symmetry. So now because that's a line of axis of symmetry, it means then that this is, will be the asymptote. So this is my equation of my straight line so that is my y-intercept so that point over here will then be negative 1 and that indicates then that the asymptote is then negative 1 so if you look at the first question here they say write down the value of w now w if you go back to your question is in the place of the Q which indicates the um, asymptote because we know that the y-intercept there it's negative 1 and this line is the line of symmetry it means then that W is equal to negative 1 so my first question is then or to answer that is W is then equal to negative 1 that's one mark my second question, they say the point negative 2, 7, that's the point indicated there on the hyperbola, lies on F. Calculate the value of K. Now if you look at K, K is then the constant, so actually I must find the equation. So because I know this is the hyperbola, I can use my F of X equals k over the x plus then the w. Now the previous question I've indicated that the w is then negative 1. The line, the f of x is the same as y and it's passing through the point negative 2 and 7. So this is your x and that's your y. So now I'm going to substitute that point so 7 will be equal to k over the negative 2 minus the 1. So now I move my constants over. So that change into an 8. That's k over negative 2. If you want to, you can form your fraction there. And then you cross multiply. So that's equal to negative 16. So they only ask you the value of k. So that is then negative 60. The next question they say calculate the x coordinates of P and Q. Now previously if you read the question again P and Q are the points of intersection. It means that that point belongs to the parabola, uh, the hyperbola and the straight line. So that's simultaneous equations. So if that's a point of intersection, you're going to put the equations equal. So now we know g of x is negative x, negative 1. So now we know the following. We know then that my g of x, and that's now the third question, must be equal to hyper, uh, hyperbolity. My g of x is the negative x, negative 1. I've calculated the constant as negative 16 over x and my asymptote there was 1. So what I can do is I take this over so that will cancel out. So now I've got negative 1 over the 1. I form a fraction because this side is also a fraction. Then I can cross multiply 
it's giving my negative x squared it's negative 16 so now what can I do I can multiply through with a negative or I can take everything over and that means then I've got x squared is equal to 16 so now I can square root that means my x will be a plus or a minus 4 so that means then if you go back to your diagram can you see point P is on the negative side point Q is on the plus side so P will then be my negative 4 I don't know what is the y value yet and my Q will be the plus 4 I don't know the y value now to get my y I can either substitute it in g of x because that's the y or I can substitute it in f of x now I think it's easier to do it with a straight line so now I'm going to substitute my negative 4 into that equation so to get my y value I will say negative I'm using the negative 4 negative 1 so that's giving me then a 4 minus the 1 it's a 3 so that's the coordinate of point P to get this one here I'm also going to use this straight line so it's negative my x is now 4 minus 1 so that's giving me a negative 5 so that's a negative 5 so that means point of intersection you put the two graphs equal and then you solve them simultaneously right so and they only actually ask you the x coordinate but you can also do the y if they say just the points now they say write the down the values of x for which this is greater than negative x so what will you do there with that one so that means your equation you must always go back to your given graphs so if I look at that you'll see that your negative x your one graph is then negative x negative 1 right and if I put that equal like the previous one and that was negative 16 over x negative 1 can you see I can cancel out the negative ones so that means then I've got my negative x equals to the negative 16x so if I look at this question again they say where is this one the negative 16 over x greater than negative 1 it actually means then where's the hyperbola bigger than the straight line so if you look at your diagram you can see that point it's equal now if I take my highlighter I can see exactly what's going on there so that means that is then equal this is hyperbola can you see that's higher than your straight line because if you look at this once again hyperbola must be bigger than the negative x so it means from that point up to the asymptote so point P that value that x value was negative 4 this is the asymptote it's 0 so between that negative 4 and my 0 it will be greater than if you look at this point here can you see that's another point of intersection now that part hyperbola will be bigger than your straight line it means the values will be higher now this value here it was 4 now from the 4 remember it's excluded because it's only inequality there and that means I must carry on till infinity so if I must write this down if I must write this down it will then be my x value will be between the negative 4 of P and less than the asymptote right or I can use the second solution there I must write it down x 
will be greater than 4. And for those values, it will then be hyperbola bigger than the negative.